Hello and welcome to the Daily Weather Briefing from the Houston Galveston National Weather Service Office. This briefing covers Sunday through Tuesday. Expect gradually warming high temperatures across southeast Texas over the next several days. Mainly isolated shower and thunderstorm development will be possible. On Sunday, conditions still favor some higher surf and elevated rip currents along the Gulf beaches. Make sure you swim near a lifeguard. Most areas are going to stay dry for the next three days. Isolated spots could get from a tenth to a quarter inch of rain where storms do develop. Slightly higher amounts are possible with any stronger storms or with any kind of training activity. Here is the early morning tropical weather outlook issued by the National Hurricane Center. A broad area of low pressure located about 200 miles east of the coast of Georgia continues to produce disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Environmental conditions are expected to remain conducive for gradual development of this system while it drifts southward offshore of the northeastern and east central Florida coast during the next few days. An Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter aircraft is scheduled to investigate the system this afternoon if necessary. Formation chances through 48 hours are currently medium at 40 percent and through five days are high at 60 percent. And remember for the most recent outlook please monitor the hurricanes.gov website or follow the National Hurricane Center on Facebook or Twitter. In summary, for hazardous weather over the next three days, mainly isolated shower and thunderstorm chances can be expected as the area gradually gets drier and normal summer humidity will prevail. Most of the areas are going to stay dry. Some isolated spots could get between a tenth and a quarter inch of rain where storms do develop and slightly higher amounts are possible with any stronger storms or with any kind of training. Normal late June through early July heat can be expected with highs reaching the lower to mid 90s each day. Lows will generally be in the mid to upper 70s inland and close to 80 near the coast. And for the tropics, cyclone development is possible off the east coast of Florida. Thank you for watching this briefing.